Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Read Along. I'm Kristen, and in this video, we're going to be reading Being Destructive by Joy Berry. This is the same series as the Let's Talk About, but Joy Berry did a more updated series of books called a Help Me Be Good book, where she just kind of revamped the older stories, but it's still the same story. So that's why the art on the cover is different, just in case you were curious. But let's learn about being destructive. I hope you enjoy. This book is about Lenny. Reading about Lenny can help you understand and deal with being destructive. I hope he doesn't want to play with me, gulp. Crash! You're being destructive when you break something, ruin something, or make a mess. What are you doing with my things? Brip. You are being destructive when you break something. If you break other people's things, try to fix them. If you cannot fix them yourself, then ask for help. You broke this, now you have to fix it. I think he's going to need help. Ugh. You're being destructive when you ruin something. If you ruin other people's things, try to replace them. I'm sorry, but this radio is ruined, gulp. That's what I thought. You are being destructive when you make a mess. If you make a mess, clean it up. You ruined my radio and you made a mess of my room, huh? Uh-oh, we're in a mess. Wanting to know what something is and how it works might cause you to be destructive. You might handle something to learn more about it. You might ruin it if you do not know how to handle it in the right way. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Talk to someone. Find out what things are and how they work before you handle them. I still don't know what makes this thing work. Having an accident might cause you to be destructive. Avoid being destructive. Do these things instead. Pay attention to what you are doing. Handle things carefully. Move cautiously when you are around things that can be broken easily. Whoops! Did you ever have the feeling that something was going to happen to you? Not caring about something might cause you to be destructive. Avoid being destructive. Do these things instead. Try to understand that things around you are important. Try to take care of them. I don't care if this gets broken. It's not very important. This isn't going to be my day. Being angry or frustrated might cause you to be destructive. You might abuse things when you are angry or frustrated. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Calm down before you handle anything that could be broken or ruined. You look frustrated. Thunk. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Stay out of places you have been told to stay out of. There might be things in those places that could be broken or ruined. Please do not play in the living room. There are too many things in there that could get broken. Avoid being destructive. Do this instead. Do not touch things you are not supposed to touch. They might be things that could be broken or ruined. You may look at this, but please don't touch it. It might get broken. Oh no. You might need to be punished if you disobey and are destructive. The punishment should help you learn that you must obey when you are asked to leave something alone. You disobeyed me and broke this. Now you will need to be punished. Lo, ding, ding. You might need to be punished if you are destructive because you do not care. The punishment should help you learn that you need to care about the things around you. You have not been careful. You have broken many of your toys. There will be no more toys until you learn to care about your things. <sighs> and that goes for pets too. You might need to be punished if you choose to be destructive. The punishment should help you to learn that you should not be destructive on purpose. You did this, so you have to scrub it off. I'm taking your crayons away from you for one week. Uh-oh. Being destructive hurts yourself and people around you. This is why you should not be destructive. Scrub, scrub. <sighs> it's no fun being destructive. 
And that was being destructive. I hope you've learned to take care of the things around you, to be mindful of other people's things, and maybe just ask questions before you go and take things and try to look at them. You might accidentally break something or knock something over. Well, I hope you enjoyed this read-along. I'll be back in the next video for more reading with Little Bumble Bear. Until then, remember you are special in love. You are never alone. And you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. God bless. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.